Hey guys, so uh, today we're gonna be doing this uh, Volvo here. Uh, it's a five liter GXI, but uh, anyways, it should apply for a fair amount of motors. The, the problem is every single motor, every couple of years or same years, different manufacturers, everything's different. So with this particular one, it's a 5.0 GXI Volvo. We're gonna show you how to drain the cooling system on it. And uh, we'll start out, this particular one has uh, block plugs in it and there's hoses running off with barbs. So uh, on this one, you come over here and uh, this may be attached up here or something, but this one just lays down here. Pull your uh, top off of here and that'll allow your water to drain out your block. So put that down in your bilge and let that drain. All right, so next we are gonna go to our manifolds and you're gonna drain them. So uh, you'll go to the back of the manifold. There's a plug in each side. On this particular one, it's a 9 16 Reach back there, I've already loosened them. And uh, come to the back here. They're right, right there. So uh, you pull those, I've already loosened them as I said, and uh, pull those and let them drain. All right, so here's our plug. I've got it loosened, undo that. You can see it's running, but you wanna make sure you poke it. So you can't really use anything straight on this one because the manifolds do rust, you wanna poke them. So I gotta use a zip tie here. Make sure you can go in there and move that around to be sure that it drained. All right, so I repeated that process on the other side. You're left with two of these plugs here. And uh, what I do is I just set them in the intake manifold uh, because I'll be the guy that's uh, summarizing this one so I'll know where to put them or know where they are. And I always set the block plugs up here, manifold plugs. Okay, so now that we're done the manifold plugs, uh, your power steering cooler is on the back, but it's on an angle on this particular model back here, so it drains itself down and uh, goes with the rest of the stuff. So now we got to get on to our uh, water pump and our uh, other hose here. So take your 5 sixteenths. I always position these so I can use my nut driver on them. And... Uh, Loosen your bottom one right here. And your top one. And you're gonna, what you're gonna do is pull those hoses right off there. And uh, that allows your water pump to drain so it doesn't freeze in there. We'll do that now. Then tilt your hoses down so they drain. I personally leave the clamps right on here for next year. And uh, now, get this one right here and this one right here. And undo your uh, hose that goes to your thermostat housing. Alright, so with this thermostat housing uh, off, I always take this hose, attach the bottom to the top here and uh, slide this over top of there. There we go. Then take your bottle of non-tox here. You don't have to do this, but it's just some good reassurance that uh, this motor is not going to freeze. You see the pink come through, you know it's not gonna freeze. So we'll uh, do that now. You pour it in and wait for it to come out that hose in the bottom. Nice and pink coming out of there. So you know you're good to go. That's about all. Just give your motor a quick burp just to be sure that your thermostat or your water pump, sorry, moves just that little bit. And if there's water on the other side of the fins, it will drain. All right, that's how you uh, winterize a 5.0 GXI Volvo 
or not winterize it totally but just how to drain the block so it's not going to freeze you can do all your oil changes and stabilizing and everything separate but this is just how you drain it for a, a professional way of doing it without so you know that this thing is not going to freeze uh, hope you liked the video and please read and subscribe if you liked it I really appreciate it thanks